You hear it all the time from real estate gurus or podcast hosts that interview somebody that says, I went from $0 to $80,000 a month in passive income in just three years, and here's how I did it. And the reality is, it doesn't seem attainable. Today, I wanna to discuss with you exactly how you can grow your portfolio quickly, give you some tips and strategies, and have you make a decision on exactly which strategy is right for you so that you can start making a plan to grow your portfolio quickly. It may not be an overnight success for you, but it is at least a plan to get you headed in the right direction to make sure you're on track to make the passive income you're looking for. Hey guys, I'm Andrew Lewis, real estate investor and entrepreneur with over 10 years experience building and growing a real estate team and investing in real estate. Before we get into today's content, please take a minute, hit that like button for me, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm here to help you break out of the nine to five, gain financial freedom, and grow wealth through real estate. So you want to grow your real estate portfolio quickly, but you don't have a million dollars in the bank account where you can just go out there and buy 10 properties real quick and start making the cash flow that you're looking for. Trust me, you are not alone. That is how most real estate investors start, but there are tips that can help you move this along. Most people, when it comes to investing in real estate, they simply save up for a down payment, buy a rental property, start saving up for another down payment, go buy a rental property and continue to repeat that process over and over again. The reality is if you're doing that, it totally depends on how much money you're making on a monthly and annual basis to actually be able to make that happen. If you're lucky enough to be able to do that and save up for a new down payment every single year, kudos to you, you can grow a portfolio quickly. But for those of us that aren't in that scenario and need to find ways to grow their portfolio quickly because you desire some financial freedom and to actually grow wealth through real estate, I wanna share with you two strategies you can use to build your portfolio quicker than just accumulating money, saving up for a down payment, and buying properties. Let's dive in. Method number one doesn't have a catchy name like method number two, but this is a method that I used early on when I got into real estate investing to start to grow my portfolio. And now I've expanded to reach out to other methods to continue to grow this quicker. But this first method is basically four steps. Number one is to invest. Number two is to wait. Number three is to cash out. And number four is to invest again. So four quick steps to it. This is a way you can grow your real estate portfolio with just one initial investment. And basically that is get that down payment for the very first property that you're looking for. Whether that is a three and a half percent down house hack or a 25% down conventional loan on a non-owner occupied property, get that down payment. You can tap into equity in your current home, 401k, whatever it may take, but get into that first property. Some of you may need to be at that step where you're just getting into that first property. Some may already have it, but you get that first property and then you wait. And this is basically just letting appreciation from the market, which on average is approximately 5% a year. You wait for a few years for that appreciation to grow. And then you can do a cash out refinance on that property, pull money out of it, and then use that for a down payment on another property. Sounds slow to you, right? Well, here's where the magic kicks in. You wait five years to get 25% equity in the first property, then you go buy another one. And then you wait another five years, but guess what? This time, you get to cash out of the first two properties you bought to go buy two more. And then you wait again, and you cash out of four properties to go buy four more. Basically with this method, over 30 years, you could acquire 64 homes with just your first down payment on the very first home. This is a way that you can grow a portfolio. It's slower, it's steady, but it's predictable based off of the appreciation that we see in this country every single year. And with the way inflation has been going, you can bet that that, that number is going to continue to move faster and faster and allow you to speed up this process to acquire as many properties as you're looking for. So this one doesn't grow you exponentially overnight and you're not gonna be on a podcast talking about how you gained 10,000 to $100,000 a month in passive income just with three years. 
you're going to slow and steady build that wealth, but it's going to grow your portfolio. And I'm sure most of you that don't even own a rental property thought there would be no way that you get into 64 within 30 years, but it can happen and it could be even sooner if appreciation goes even faster. Step number two is called the stack method. And this one may seem unobtainable for you, but I'll talk about how to make it happen at the end. But with this method, basically, you are going to accelerate your growth by buying one unit first. The next time you go out, you go buy a duplex. The next time you go out, you go buy a fourplex, then an eightplex, then 16, 32, 64, and you can just grow exponentially from there. Now, this is something that you could do every single year. Some have, and those are the people that do end up on those podcasts talking about the major success that they've had by building a real estate portfolio essentially overnight. So again, I know this may sound unobtainable, but the method that they use here is the Burr strategy. They invest in a property and it needs rehab. It needs to be fixed up. So they are buying a property under market value. So this one's going to take a little bit more work. Number one is a little bit more slow and steady and predictable and you can go buy properties that don't need a ton of work and it's just a little bit less on your plate. This one's gonna take some work. You need to find a property that is undervalued and in need of repair. You buy it under value, you fix it up, and then you're going to refinance it, which essentially allows you to recoup the costs of your renovation and hopefully a good portion of the down payment that you put in. Just some quick numbers here to show you how the math shakes out. If you were able to find a property with an after repair value or a totally fixed up value of about $500,000, if you were able to buy that property in disrepair, in need of renovations, for 325,000. I know that's hard, but that's where that hard work comes in. You find that property, you put in $50,000 worth of renovations, you now have an all-in cost of $375,000. Now you take that property that is in turnkey, ready to go condition, and you go refinance it. You take that and you go get the appraisal done. And at that time, again, the ARV, the after repair value should be around $500,000 the bank will then allow you to mortgage up to 75% of that value. Guess what that is? That's $375,000. You then recoup every dollar you put into that and you now own that property with a mortgage on it, but you are $0 into that property. Now they don't always work out as dreamy as that, but maybe you're all into a property like that for $25,000 rather than you know, a traditional down payment on something like that of $150,000. So it allows you to buy multiple properties for less out of your pocket. So you use this strategy to buy your first property, pull money out of it. Then you've got most, if not all of that original money that you put in to go do the next one and then go buy a duplex and fix that up and refinance it. And then go do that with a fourplex and then an eightplex and then 16. And it just grows exponentially from there. It sounds scary, but the great part about this method is you start with one property and one unit. It is low risk and you get to find out and work out all of the kinks. And then you move into a property that is two units. And so it's a double the work from the previous one, but then you've got some experience under your belt. And then you move into a fourplex and then eight, 16, and you're just growing in experience along the way. You've built a great crew of contractors and people you can trust along the way to help make this process smooth for you. So using this Burr method, you could grow a portfolio of hundreds of properties, hundreds of doors in this case, with little money out of your pocket. And this is something that you can just do over and over and over again. And the better deal you find, the better under market value property that you find, the better off you're gonna be here because it can keep money in your bank account and grow your portfolio exponentially. Those are two methods you can use to grow your portfolio quickly or quicker than if you were saving up for a down payment for every single property. So those may seem like hard work and the reality is it is hard work. A lot of people try to get into real estate investing, hoping that they can just quit their day job and sit on a beach somewhere and collect paychecks. And that's not the reality, but you are setting yourself up for the future. So you can create passive income, but it's going to take some work up front. Passive income does not just come from a thought and like a 30 day escrow on a home. And then you never have to work at it ever again. You're going to have to put some effort into this. And the people that take on the more risk are the ones that are going to get the more reward at the end of the day. So when you employ one of these strategies, you are taking on some risk, but it is going to reward you in the future. So, they may seem scary, but continue to research on these and make them happen. If you take education and you multiply that with 
action, you get results. Education with no action gets you nothing. And action with no education gets you nothing either. So take these two things together, put them into action, go out there and make it happen, see how it works, learn from it. You're going to make mistakes along the way, but you will grow from it and so will your portfolio. I hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, make sure to take a minute, hit that like button, leave us a comment below about any questions you might have. And as always, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm here to help you break out of the nine to five, gain financial freedom and grow wealth through real estate. We'll see you next time.